This is a story of two ultra marathoners, one doing a 50 miler and one doing a 50K. COVID has changed everything. It's changed the way we hold races and it leaves an uncertainty in our mind if the race will even go on. As time moved on and the race date moved closer, it became apparent that a race would happen. So I picked up my camera and set out to record Kimberly and Tony's Rocky Raccoon 50. Six years old. Jeremy made a video of me about five years ago. It sure was a lot warmer that day. Sometimes I run, sometimes I do ultras. I signed up kind of at the last minute. I really didn't plan on it, but the way you do your races nowadays is you have to make sure that they're not going to cancel on you. And then uh, they were pretty sure gonna, they were going to have this race, so. I signed up on Thursday, I think, uh, and the, the race is Saturday, so it was kind of last minute, and I did had a little encouragement from a couple friends. Hey, I'm Kimberly Palacios. I'm running Rocky Raccoon. I don't know. I guess it's been a long time since I've done an ultra, and uh, you know, with COVID, they, they were able to make it happen. So I signed up in November, hoping it would, would actually be able to go through, and it did. And now we're out here in 30 degree weather for the whole day. This is going to be uh, what do we call this? Character building. <laughs> So pretty excited, but uh, also hoping that my fingers don't freeze off in the meantime. <laughs> Haven't uh, done a race like this with it being this cold before, or at least this cold the whole day. Okay. Oh my God. Start time is 6:30. Ish. All right, see you guys later. Yeah. Good job. Kimberly left at 6.32. Soon as 7 o'clock, I'm going to go put my bag out there. And then uh, we'll mosey on to, the, to get my timing chip. And then I'll start. That way I'll have at least 10 hours before. I'm hoping to keep myself to like a 10 minute mile, which can be hard for me at the beginning um, for the first loop. I don't remember how much elevation gain there is in this run, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, what pace I actually end up doing. But then the second loop, I'm definitely going to start incorporating more walking. Uh, that's the first 20 mile loop. And the last loop, I'm pretty sure I'll be walking like the last 15 miles. I just hope I have a good race. It's going to be cold and hopefully it's not going to rain on us. I just want to keep warm and uh, finish in one piece. So it's pretty close. I did two long training runs, not last weekend, but the two weekends before. And, you know, just to kind of see where I was. And so um, it gave me a little bit of confidence, but pretty sure the last loop might need a bigger jacket <laughs> for a lot of walking. <laughs>
How you feeling? I'm okay. I can see you're rinsing the bottom. I saw Kimberly after you moved. I know it's bad. Yeah. Um, she said she doesn't do good. She was second place female. How far is the eight station? Just a downhill and then a bridge and you're at the eight station. Yeah. We went right by our tent. Right past the tent. Man, that's the whole trip. You fell? Yeah. Out of our tent? <laughs> past the tent. All right, Tony. Go kick butt. Keep on going. One more lap. You uh, 50 miles? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Water and stuff in here. Charlie, water? Water for Captain. This is caffeinated. Tailwind? Tailwind? Caffeinated or not caffeinated? Caffeinated. Yeah. <laughs> Point okay. of place, right? Excellent. What do we get for you? Mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ramen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or that. Or both. Yeah. Or both. Yeah. That's always a good treat. Okay. These gloves are so. Oh my gosh, you see my jacket? It was so. Oh, I saw it. I was like, it why is so wet? so sweaty. <laughs> oh, is that oh, sweat? It was, a, it was such a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did she spill water took, all over her I jacket? I took it off and I went, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was hot. I knew it was a mistake. Like, how cute. But, dang. Oh, yeah, I can see all the salt on it now. Oh, like, I wonder if I can take the. No, I need sunglasses. That was a mistake, also. Yeah, it was too dark. I am very guilty of overpacking. Oh, do you have any hand warmers that are warm? Uh, no. Well, I have mine. You want those? Uh, They're not that warm, though. I can feel them. Yeah, let's open up a new one. You see if you can, like, shove it in there. <laughs> Only 20 miles. Not even Only 25. 20 miles. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was I thinking? You still cold? <laughs> uh, no, but my hands aren't right now. anything that you say to yourself when things get tough or keep yourself to keep moving? That's pretty much what I do. I say I just got to keep moving, just make it to the next aid station. And uh, I'll probably put on some music, which I don't usually do during an ultra run. Um, usually I just do that for road runs. But I think this this time I'll need some motivation. And a lot of times I'll have a song stuck in my head and that like some, some kind of rock song. I usually I, I just like think about it and I just keep like running to that pace or trying to move to that pace. <laughs> so hopefully... Hopefully that'll get me through the day. I feel like I should be walking this way. <laughs> it, it is a hill. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Why run ultra marathons? Why are you still running ultra marathons? I don't know. I've uh, I've done a hundred and and 18 marathons but th those are mostly road races and now as I've gotten older I just know the trails are easier on you as long as you can stay vertical they're easier on you uh, so you just or at least I run more trails than I used to run how are you feeling oh, not not that great <laughs> everything hurts but you got eight miles to go. Yeah. And uh, it's after one o'clock. Yeah. So I want to be finished by four. All right, Tony. All right, see you later. Have a good race. Thanks for coming by. How you doing? That's Tony. Maybe I'll pass the long ones out in the back or something. Hope he's doing okay. Don't worry about him. His ankle is hurting though. All right, Kimberly.
Woo! I knew you guys were so close. 